Our next nut is a favorite feast of the squirrel, but as we found out, it can be a popular people food too. Like marbles under your feet, perhaps no nut is more noticeable in nature than the acorn. And few people know the nut better than Daniela Dana of Stoughton, aka acorn aficionado. Acorns are sort of the tofu of nuts. It's not a strong flavor, but because you can't eat them right out of the shell, they're kind of like little rocks, you have to mill them into flour. You can use it a lot like cornmeal, so it's gluten-free. What I make is cookies, crackers. I've used it in breads. The former librarian found her way to the nut by way of the book. So this is the book that started it all? That's it, William Bryant Logan. What really intrigued me about Logan's book was that he said they were incredibly satiating. And as someone who's always hungry, I found that um, something that I wanted to pursue. In 2015, she established the New England Acorn Cooperative to spread awareness about all things acorn, including cooking. First step, gather. If it is a sparse year like it is this year, I grab everything I can get because the squirrels are ferocious right now. You're fighting the squirrels. I am acorn. literally in competition. Then dry, a process that has made Dana's home very popular with the squiggly squirrels. And they thieve. I've been robbed. You've been robbed by a squirrel? Multiple times. And I'm seeing them come up in my yard now. So I call this place Oak Forest Farm now because so many nuts have been planted here. You can't eat the meat straight from the shell. So crack before giving them a good soak. The most important step in making it palatable for humans is leaching. So once you've harvested good nuts and cracked them, you need to remove the excess to us tannin, and that's easily done in water. After leaching comes the grind. This is the final product. So what makes a good nut? Size matters and something surprising. So no cap, good nut. Cap, bad nut. But if the cap is on, it's probably welded on by one of those little bugs. And that are called? Acorn weevils. 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 They're the cutest little pest you'll ever see. Weevils aside, every part of the acorn can be used for something with a little elbow grease. Oh. Well done. Oh. <laughs> you too can serve up delicious delicacies, or in this case, a cheesy pun. I'd say that this nut is crap. Massachusetts has long been home to one nutty bear, Teddy Peanut Butter in Everett. But there's a new bear in town, so which bear butter is better? Depends what you're looking for, <laughs> you know? I'm not so much a teddy bear guy, I'm more like a grizzly bear kind of guy. To be fair, we are not really comparing the two. This butter is almond-based. Gooey, gooey goodness. Less butter and more meal. Bear butter is a fortified almond butter. It's high protein, low sugar, loaded with superfoods. It's like a trail mix within a jar. In 2019, founder Jonathan Vela opened The Spot, a smoothie bar in Pittsfield, Massachusetts. Shortly after, a failed attempt in Florida led to the almost accidental creation of bear butter. Trying to open one of these down there, but it didn't go very well. And I was eating the energy balls from the coffee shop next door like every day. And I'm like, wait, I can make these myself. But when I put them in the containers, they didn't hold their shape. And then I just decided I don't need to make them hold. I just put them in a jar. The process may start with almonds, but it's the fillers that give this a crunchy profile. It's like a melted energy ball. So we got goji berries, hemp seed, flaxseed, coconut, cacao. Yeah. What does it taste like? What do people tell you? People go from cookie dough, melted graham crackers, melted cookie crisp. I like all of the above. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and dip in here. This business is still in the cub stage. The team of three pump out about 150 jars an hour. After a sellout appearance at the Big E, they're confident they found the right mix. Everybody loves this. It knows no barriers. No pun intended.
And back to acorns. I thought we'd learned everything mm -mm. about acorns, <laughs> but they're not just used for cooking. Parts of the acorns and the oak tree that it comes from can actually use to make ink. And one very famous document was written with this type of ink, the U.S. Constitution. Well, that would be a famous document for <laughs> sure. Acorn ink. Who yeah, knew? All right, still ahead when it comes to flavor, thinking outside the box.